What we do know is that sea level was much lower than it is right now, 22,000 years ago. It was about 120 meters down. And then as the great ice sheets all over the world began to melt, sea level began to rise. In geologic terms, we call it the Holocene transgression. Well, I'm Dr. Robert Ballard, and I wear a lot of hats. The one on my head right now is president of the Ocean Exploration Trust, but I'm also sitting in the Inner Space Center at the Graduate School of Oceanography, where I'm the director of the Center for Ocean Exploration. And what we're doing is we're searching for the caves of what's called the last glacial maximum. This is the lowest sea level got 22,000 years ago. So sea level went up suddenly, laid there for a couple thousand years, went up again, went up again. But during that rise, it didn't just rise continuously, it stopped six times. And those are called still stands. So think of it like a staircase. During those still stands, the sea attacked the, the cliffs of the shoreline and we believe made cave systems, and then were flooded and did it again and again. So what we set out to do was first find those ancient shorelines, which we did in 2016. Then in 2017, we started going along those ancient shorelines, looking for cave complexes, and we found them at the top four levels. In the shallowest levels, we then sent divers in. And in some of the cave systems are quite complex and extensive. This year, uh, we're going to the deepest level, uh, looking for caves. We mapped them last year, and now we'll be hunting for the caves at 100, 100 meters and 110 meters.